Casey, I ran smooth over your uh, driveway marker on the way in. Oh, thanks for that. You're welcome. You're welcome. That's a that's a thing that really happened. Uh, it looks but like you know it's there. I do. I do. It, it did its thing. It made a noise. It hit my tailpipe. It, but it appears to have rebounded back <laughs> to near as makes no difference. This original position. So it's a metal pole. Yeah. Like, yeah. But I hit it. I rolled about halfway over, it and I thought, "Ooh, that doesn't sound like I need oh, to continue." Boy. So, Shane, Bits Box, can no. you tell I'm tired from work? Well, it's not time for Bits Box. You have an announcement. Uh, yes, we do have an announcement. Um, today, we are announcing that next week, well, it's pretty much a week and a half, I guess, at this point. At the end of the month, the 31st, me and Shane are going to randomly draw a name out of a hat from one of our subscribers on the social media platforms that we have. So... That is going to be the lucky winner of the giveaway of one Chaos Space Marine. And what is it, Matt? Matt, Matt. The McFarlane figure. McFarlane figure, yes. We're ripping off Warhammer. Or or maybe they're ripping us off because we, we announced it first. But, uh, yeah, did you see that? I didn't. They announced that like a week or two ago. And we've been talking about it since December. Yeah, at one point there was going to be a us painting stuff uh, component to this. and uh, I Still might be. I, yeah, it could be. It won't be me, though. I've done a procrastinate. <laughs> um, my washer's frozen right now. Winter kind of hit our hit our state pretty rough. Yeah, for you UK people, it's been like uh, cold and snowy, and that's not what we do here. Yeah, the last... Uh, we freak out here about it, because the last time that really happened to a bad point, uh, you know, people died, uh, systems went down, lots of bad stuff, but... Besides that... My feet were super cold. <laughs> subscribe to the YouTube. Subscribe to our other various social medias. We need more followers on Twitter, guys. And we'll randomly pick one person out of all of you fans out there, or whatever you guys would call yourselves, besides 40K Fanatics, and we'll give you the lucky uh, Chaos Space Marine. It's gray plastic, so you can paint it whatever you want, and it'll go into you new in box. So... Subscribe, follow, like, all that stuff. Shane. Uh, I have show I have show notes. I received some notes about last week's episode. You on, mean critiques? Yes, yes. Comments, so, concerns. Yes, there were there were questions, comments, and concerns about Haters our gonna hate. our podcast on the old world and what we thought about it. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, not too many on not too many on like the di- the the sort of uh, pros and cons of the game. That seemed to I had we had a little bit of our ducks in a row. However, we were all over the place on the lore. We were all over the place in uh, its place in the in Sigmar's a Primarch. Fight me! It it was a it was a lot, and uh, I think that we may have a guest on a future episode with a with a rebuttal. Well, I'm gonna keep. Is it, it Bricky? No, I'm please a, tell me it's Bricky. I'm gonna keep it a surprise. I'm gonna keep it a surprise. But we we have a we have an advocate in the community for the old world, and so. Is it Austin? It's Austin. Okay, yeah, because we literally talked. Uh, the only person we've talked about playing is Austin. He's literally the only one that I know that is much interest. He's I, getting them dwarves. He is getting them dwarves. Them dwarves look so clean. You know, they, they have really good bottles. I looked at all the old stuff that they had. I really like them. I ain't looked at nothing except for today's topic. Oh, yeah. Last night. We're recording a day late because, again, I did a procrastinate. My washer's frozen. Those are my excuses. I'll yeah, come up emergency. with more. I'll come up with more excuses if I need them. I'm never short on them. But first, we must open up the Bix box. I have been hobbying my ass off. You and me both. Man, let me tell you. So, um, first of all, Check out Shane's whips on the Twitter. Yes, check, X. check out all of our whips on X, usually on Whip Wednesday, along with everybody else's, because we are not leaders. We are followers, because it is safe, and you guys like it. But uh, Painted that model for the new hotness, right? I must announce, I'm back to painting 40K, because in the last couple of weeks, it's been a very Star Wars-heavy bits box from your boy. Now... We've talked a lot about Star Wars these last few weeks. And I'm still working on Star Wars. In fact, bought more Star Wars Shatterpoint stuff today. Did finish the entirety of the core set. The the terrain, all of it, even the little Lothcat on on droid head on rock. 
All of it's painted. Been playing it. It's a super fun game to play. So, however, I have gone back to painting some 40K because the uh, the girlfriend's demonettes, all 10 of them, have now been painted. And she got her first experience behind a paintbrush. Uh, she got to do washes because... Uh, oh, so you guys did like an assembly line together? We did do an assembly line together because we have... she. The list that we've concocted, which I want to do a whole pod on making a making a new army and uh-huh. figuring out a list and things, so we'll, that'll be a future one. But it's going to involve forty demonettes, and they look very Little Mermaid, like they, they're they're <laughs> they're fleshy. They've got red hair, but then they're gonna and they've got like green, they've got green underwear, which is what demonettes <laughs> are wearing. If we can be honest, little dominatrix outfits, and. Uh, you know, so there was plenty of washing to be done, but also there's a highlight pass on the whole thing, especially on the flesh. And uh, I love a crab claw. Valerie, shout out, shout out to the homie Valerie. Her experience of forty k, the homie <laughs> Valerie. We're equal opportunity around oh, here. Yeah, there you go. Uh, her experience of the forty k hobby is looking at my models, looking at your models, and not much else, and looking at stuff on YouTube. So. She hasn't ever seen anybody field a gray army or any of this, you know, three colors and a basing texture nonsense. And so her expectation and her desire for her first army is to look quite well done. And so we were discussing this. I'm like, you want me to help you? Are you forcing high expectations on your brand I, new initiate? I, I am not at all forcing high expectations, but she does have them. And so what I'm trying to do is bring her up to speed and teach her these various things that she's going to be able to do pretty easily without sort of ruining a paint job. And then hopefully by the end of the process, she'll be able to really paint a character all by herself is my theory. And, okay. And then, so, it's going to be less Star Wars podcast during the Bits Box for the next little bit. However, I must warn the public, it's about to become a very Judge Dread podcast oh, in my side of the bits box yes. for the next little bit because the other thing we did mm. the other thing we did man is i can't stop watching that stallone judge dread movie where he takes off his helmet in it's the first so five minutes good. that everybody gets so mad about but armana sante who plays rico in that thing is acting his ass off as a psycho to a point that i cannot get enough of it Dude, he is, he is such a great actor. He is insane in that movie. He doesn't blink Man. for the first hour. Did you know that uh, Judge Dredd is the only comic book character that ages in real time? I did not know that. He is an old man right now. If you go buy a Judge Dredd comic book right now, it's got an old man. <laughs> That's hilarious. So, here's the thing. We're, we're we're just gonna we're just gonna do this because we, we don't have a ton of uh, main topics, so we're just gonna we sit. Got in. a great main topic. We're, we're just gonna play in my bits box. We'll get to it eventually, maybe next week. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we are gonna get to it but, in due time. But here, I'm not a comic book guy, and I know heads have just exploded everywhere. But everything I know about the X Men, worst bit box ever. Yes. The the only thing I know about the X-Men comes from the cartoons, primarily the 90s cartoons. I've recently watched the other cartoons that are more recent. I mean, I say recent from the early 2000s. I like the Wolverine and the X-Men one, too. Yeah, the Wolverine and the X-Men was, yeah, was fine. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, that was good. I liked X-Men Evolution better, which is Ooh. why. So, you know, you guys know that I play Marvel Crisis Protocol, which is another Atomic Mass game, just like the Star Wars Shatterpoint. And I've got a collection of 90s X-Men. And cameos from those other '90s cartoon shows. So, anyway, demonetize uh, you us. I dare you. Yeah, I don't think we were close enough. Hashtag fair use. Come at me, Disney. Please don't do that. Please don't. Honestly, honestly, you win. We we surrender. We cannot possibly defend ourselves against such an onslaught. What if they bought 40K just because we did this? <sighs> just to spite us. Don't get me started on what that would do to the uh, ver- various dramatic properties associated therewith. Anyway, since watching X-Men Evolution, I have now got on pre-order the 
uh, Nightcrawler and Shadowcat because they were featured heavily in the X-Men Evolution show. And before, I hadn't cared anything about them, but now i got to have those to add to my MCP collection. However, that Stallone Judge Dredd movie... Oh, I was talking about comic books, so I don't read them. I don't like them. I wish that all comic books could just be a cartoon series because I feel like it's so close. Like, the storyboard is literally already there, you know? And uh, so my Spider-Man... X-Men, Transformers, Judge Dredd, lore is all strictly from Hollywood silliness, and I like it that way. And so, uh, we ordered the Judge Dredd I Am The Law starter set, as well as Judge Dredd on his Lawmaster motorcycle jet ski looking thing. I totally forgot they had that. Oh, yeah. And we got like uh, a five pack of the villains, which I know nothing about, uh, but they look insane. Like street punks. No, no. We, that comes with the I am the law set. Uh, but, but these are like the big bads. All right. So that's on the way. And so it's going to be a very Judge Dread heavy bits box for me in the near future as Valerie's. Uh, Slaneshi demons come in, you know, and trickle in slowly. She's ordered a lot. She uh, she has a problem. Two thousand points? Not quite, uh, because S- the friendly local game store doesn't have a shellaxi in, but it's uh, it's getting close. So she's quick. getting addicted to that plastic crack. Yeah, yeah, and uh, and it will not be long before the the pile of shame begins to show itself. However, right now she has one unpainted model to her existence. So. Oh, that's pretty good. I mean, I don't mean to stunt. We are also waiting. So if you looked at the Whip Wednesday, there was a picture of one of these demonettes, so you can get the idea of what they look like. Looking like Ariel from The Little Mermaid. Yeah, looking like violent Ariel, along with the crab claws and everything. Her and uh, Sebastian were slammed together into a... That's a a cool theme. You should do that for the whole army. Well, they're going to be... they're they're going to be screaming across a uh, psychedelic mushroom garden, mm. and so we're waiting on some some mushrooms from Etsy to do the bases, and then that's going to be the theme for the entire army. And I think it's going to look really good. Anything else in your bits box? Oh yeah, I went to the hardware store today. So this is how you know that you're committed to. Did you the meet bit. Weird Al? No, I went to the hardware store today, and I got all the lumber needed. For a six by just shy of five foot gaming table, so that I can have all the homies over to play full on 40k. And uh, those of you that know the game will say six feet by five and some odd feet is way too big. And of course it is, because we're going to have a whole foot on one end for a dice tray. That sucker can be glued down if we want. And then six inches on both sides for all your cards and reference material that you may need. It's going to be solid enough that you can jump up and sit on it. Battle reports coming soon. Uh, I'm making no promises because that's (laughs) a lot of video editing. But the homies are going to be able to come and play. Fully painted Shatterpoint. Fully painted Judge Dread, 40K. Maybe next year we have the uh, Shane 40K Fanatics Invitational. Ooh. That is my bits box. Beat that, Casey. So I gave my buddy his uh, roughly around 800 points of Dark Angels now, which kind of goes with the topic that we're talking about today. Uh, this was before the points drop and 10th edition coming out that I got this box and stuff all together. So it was 1,000, and now it's around 800 points. He got it, and he got me that Snickrot, which, as you know, I've been painting, and it looks pretty, pretty good. You've said some nice things about it. That's the strongest paint job you've ever done. I'm uh, finishing up some terrain for our local hobby shop, The Foundry, here in town. If you get a chance, go check them out. Shout out to The Foundry. They're pretty great. We are blowing up a little bit, so we're, we're averaging about 200 downloads a month, so clap, clap, clap. Can't do it with my hands because Shane told me not to, and I can't do it with my butt because I'm not that talented. <laughs> uh, and I'm excited to give away our Chaos Space Marine, but that's about it. That's all, all I've got. It's such a weak bits box. 
It is, but you know, I, bu- I bought a chalk line today. To I'm just cut, saying to, that snick rot is taking time. I bought a chalk line today. You can't rush perfection to cut an eight foot piece of plywood. That's dope. That's so dope. I'm gonna do man stuff. I'm gonna do man stuff. No task. Wrap it up in here. Uh, that's my bits box, though. Other than that, uh, my my next personal project is going to be because I've got a little window before the Judge Dread stuff gets here. Oh, I meant. I have one more thing to add. What so, do you have? So the idea, the Judge Dread I Am The Law set comes with like 10 gang dudes, right? Yeah. And they're just weird, punky-looking dudes in silly clothes. And so what I'm going to do is let Valerie paint a few of those all by her lonesome. While Practice, I, well, yeah. Yeah, while I do the judges to you know my highest ability. And... You know, that's going to give her... So she she's already learned how to wash stuff. See, she, she likes she, dry brushing. She, well, she painted she painted the hair of the demonettes, the, the red hair, so she had to do a little bit of cutting in right around their, their scalp, right? And now she's going to get to do these gangers who, honestly, you can just paint them any old color you want. They can have blue pants and pink hair and all kinds of silliness, and they'll look great. And after three or four of those... I bet you she's pretty good at base coating. So what I'm doing here is I'm I'm in the embryonic stage of the Shane mini painting masterclass available somewhere in the future as soon as I get good enough to paint eyes. Yeah, because I don't I don't mess with eyes at this stage. (laughs) Just have have the old lady do it. I I mean you know maybe maybe she can maybe she can get it. In gear in that <laughs> way, but so far she's gonna paint some. She's gonna paint some cargo shorts. <laughs> oh, that's great! So that's your bits box. Shut it. Okay. So shout out to my homie Dave and his Dark Angels Army because today, what are we talking about, Shane? We're gonna talk about that new bunch of uh, beige boys, the beigest of boys, the Deathwing, the Deathwing Terminators, and uh, who's the new? Is it? Belial. Belial. I wanted to say Ezekiel, but that's we not it. We love Dark Angels up in here. We've talked to death about Dark Angels. I was talking to the boys at the game store the other day. I went and got my head kicked in by the homie Lane yesterday on the MCP. I still have not won a match of Marvel Crisis Protocol. Not a solitary one, but I like pushing around my pretty X-Men. So I will continue to play. But Lane kicked my head in, and then somebody asked uh, the group, Afterwards, what's your favorite Space Marines? And I said, well, if I had to have some, it would be the Dark Angels because they've got a ton of characters. If I'm not mistaken, they may have the most named characters of anything. Blood Angels got a good running going with them, but you might be right. I mean, just just think, is it Asmodai? Is a smoky dude, right? Asmodai, Azrael, Belial, uh, Lazarus. Who else? Uh... Sam I am Sam I L yeah on his on, on his bike yeah, yeah which we got to talk about uh, the lion did the you lion. did you mention him yeah yeah he's pretty important I'm surprised we haven't gotten a uh, what are they called the risen character yet mm, I don't weird. know anything about that that may need, need to be another lore pod that we do anyway love a named character you know I do oh yeah I don't bring multiples of hardly anything because. I'm like, well, if it doesn't say Epic Hero, I'm not sure how bad I want it. Mr. Abaddon himself runs in Shane's army. That's right. Along with uh, Hark in the World Claimer, Herald of the Apocalypse, himself. But uh, if I were going to have a Dark Angels army, it would be... Or if I was going to have a Space Marine army, it would be the Dark Angels. I really I really boshed the landing on that. Now, we've got new models and a new box. And new information. And a lot of new information. So, it, as far as I can tell, the next codex to come out, they're calling a supplement, which I don't understand what that means exactly. I think it means it's being added to the regular codex Space Marines. And it comes with a crusade set of rules, too. That's neat. I, I didn't know that. Um, so, as far as I understand, you're still going to have your Space Marine Oath of Moment. But then you're going to have new detachments, Dark Angel-specific yes. detachments. You will have the normal 
Space Marine detachments, the, whatever you want to do. Gladius is the usually what I hear about the most, or maybe the one for the Salamanders, what it's called, Firestorm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, all those are vi- yes. And are, now are you've got the Unforgiven, which is just your General Dark Angels. Then you've got two more, which is your Death Wing and your Raven Wing. Yeah, and so the Death Wing you can do, oops, all Terminators. Yes, because they are the first company. They're run all with Terminators, and they run the Deathwing Knights. A neat thing about those Deathwing Knights, Deathwing Terminators, is that that new detachment, from what I've seen, has got a lot of movement shenanigans. Yes, and also Belial, leader of the first company of the Dark Angels, the Deathwing. Yeah, but I think it's neat... That you're going to get Terminators with movement shenanigans because that... They're very slow. They're very slow. And that's usually the problem with Terminators is that it's just hard to get them to where you need them. But this is going to be a bit of of both. Now, I do wonder, those Deathwing Knights or Terminators, I can't remember which, one of them's like minus one to wound all the time. Well, and uh-huh. and and I and I'm wondering if the power creep, the codex creep, is about to begin in earnest. There, there's a minus one to wound for the Deathwing Knights because they're in the inner circle. Mm. Then you've got the vowed target, which I think is going to get a lot of attention along with Oath of Moments. May that I probably will bet get nerfed. Yeah, because that's going to give you plus one to wound. Plus one to wound, and it's and and it targets an objective marker. Yes, you call Vowed Target on an enemy unit that is on an object marker. They are plus one to wound, and then you can probably do Oath of Moment, and I believe Oath of the Moment is... Reroll hits. Reroll hits. So which I also saw somebody in oof. there gives you plus one to hit on your Oath of Moment, which just seems wholly unnecessary. Oh, yeah. I mean, as, as, if, two, as if two bites of the cherry isn't enough, because invariably what people will do is find something with some sustained hits... And then just go fishing for sixes because you're not going to have any misses no matter what. So you'll be re- you'll you'll be you'll be um, inclined to re-roll the successes too. Yeah, and then you've got Deathwing Assault, which is you can bring in your Deathwing uh, reserve units on turn one. On turn one. Yeah. With, uh, like any turn, but yeah, turn one, which is a no-no for everybody else. Yeah, and you can even do it with uh, Rapid Ingress, I saw, for free, because somebody lets I saw you do that, that, too. do that for free. So, Whew. basically, you just get to see the deployment and then deploy some stuff. Um, now, one that I thought was neat that I saw is the, is it the Ravenwing, where they're on bikes. Yes, Ravenwing is the second uh, unit. They know about the Fallen as well as the first company. They're all about the fast attack. All of their stuff is black, and their bikes look dope because they have wings on it. Yeah, and I, you know, I'm anti bike, but and these aren't flying bikes, right? No, they're not. But their their company captain Samael needs a model update. He's all resin, and he flies a jet bike hover bike. Looks dope, but all resin yeah i mean i still haven't messed with the resin model knock on wood uh i'm i'm doing cypher next that's the little hole i have in my in my uh name drop yeah uh, i mean and connected to dark angels you know what's going to happen right by the time i finally get a game in with cypher the new De- dark angels codex is going to be out and i'm going to get my whole head stomped but Ooh, um, yeah, it's going to be a good matchup for uh, you chaos dudes, though. It's going to be awesome. Lethal, you get you get dark packs which give you lethal and sustained. They get minus to damage, minus to wound, so they're evening the playing field with you. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be fun and it's going to be thematically appropriate. I mean, oh, I can't wait. People say Cipher's no good, but he looks cool, and that's all that I care about. But uh, the Ravenwing, I'm anti motorcycle. In my 40K. That is well documented on this podcast. If you're new here, go back and listen. I have a whole rant. I don't think that makes sense. However, if you are the type that enjoys some bikes, if you're running the Raven Wing Detachment, all your bikes are battle line. So you can absolutely run oops all bikes. Yep. Bike, 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 bike. 
Yeah, Deathwing is all Terminators, and Ravenwing is all bikes. Is that it? Or I mean, well, they it, got vehicles. They're all fast attack. Right, really right. A fast attack. Style, no, no. What yes. what I mean is that going to be it for the sub for the Codex supplement? Is it just going to be those three detachments, or are there more that are that are going to be revealed, or more in the book? I believe that's it. Uh, I've seen a couple rules, but we're probably not going to get too jump into it. I'm not as impressed with Belial stat as I thought I was going to be. He's a character killer. Honestly, he's probably about as good as an orc, maybe a war boss. Uh, but he's got precision, so he can kill characters. We we named six named characters, and I'm no good at naming named characters. So, you know, they can't they can't all be. They can't all be the lion, can they? They all wish. They they all wish, but they can't be. That's why he's yes. that's why he's the guy. Belial, uh, some background on him. I'm gonna do some lore drop. Lore drop incoming. Drop uh, it. Belial, as we've talked about in our Dark Angels episode, go check that out now. Um, pause and go check it out. I'll let. I'll wait a minute. minute okay, minute's over. <laughs> So, Belial, he is the captain of the first company, the Deathwing. He is a perfectionist, so much so that he tattoos his failings into his skin with acid-etched ink so it doesn't heal for years on end. The man punishes hard and demands perfection of all those who get recruited into the Deathwing. And now you can play him on the tabletop. His old model was supremely dope. But now he's a Primaris Terminator, and he still looks pretty dope. He's got that tabard. He's got the sort of secrets rocking with him. Man, what do you think? Um, I, I mean, he looks awesome as all the new characters and re- refreshes he have. Looks like an old man. I mean, they're, yeah, but they're awesome. Oh yeah, he's dope. The dudes are sick. Love that cape. Now here's what I want to know: uh, Who the heck are these guys that they have done in purple? The Inner Circle? Ah, the Inner Circle. Are you talking about the Inner Circle Companions, or are you talking about the Inner Circle? Yeah, the Companions. So these guys so these guys in the Burgundy Rose. Those are Fallen. Those are Fallen? They are now called the Risen, forgiven by the Lion himself, and now becoming the Risen. They are aides to the Inner Circle, firstborn, I believe they're still firstborn Space Marines, that aid the Inner Circle of the Dark Angels, keeping the secret of the Fallen, and uh, following their Primarch into battle. Love, love those models. They look absolutely dope. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't know what those were. So those are like Cypher, like the Fallen, which, by the way, does not have rules anymore, the Fallen. Yeah, they got rid of that. Yeah, because I was looking for them because I thought maybe Cypher could join them or they could at least be there, and that would be fun. But uh, no, which maybe I'll get some and call them. I don't know what. But uh, so when we initially were going to talk about this pod and we were looking for topics, which, by the way, get in the YouTube comments, get on Spotify and leave suggestions. Correct me. Leave suggestions for main topics because we run out. We get tired of thinking of stuff. Then we have to do a painting pod and you guys don't care anything about those. But we're going to keep making them because we do like to paint. Uh, But anyway, our main topic was going to be boxes the various available boxes and what we think so i want to talk about this death week assault box talk about it it comes with belial i believe yes it does it comes with your death wing knights your death wing terminators and uh that, watchers in the dark yeah and it's got your watchers in the dark yeah they're cute yeah you get uh five death wing knights 10 death wing terminators you get the upgrade sprues like 200 transfers. Gosh, it's a lot of transfers. Question. What's do, up? Do you still need death? Do you, do you still? So so these new Deathwing Terminators, are yes. they the regular new Terminator kit with upgrade sprues yes. that I guess have been scaled up? Yes. So it's not totally new models. You just have all kinds new spru- of little. New, new upgrades though. Right, little a whole bunch yeah, they're of new the normal Leviathan Terminators with bits some and fancy gubbins. bits, yes. But the Deathwing Knights are their own should be their own thing. I see. Yes. Those are a specific model to the Death Wa- or Deathwing, sorry. And they are particularly dope. They are the elite of the elite and part of the inner circle of the Dark Angels and the Deathwing. But continue your thing, sir. I really like how this box is gonna come with the cards. 
The and, data cards, yes. And the book. Codex Supplement also comes with her with the box for the Dark Angels. Man. Only got a few more days left on that uh, app, guys. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Uh, I really like a box that comes with a book. The la- Last week we talked about the old world and, and those boxes, and those boxes are quite expensive. But they come with this book, and the book for old world is huge. Now, it's just the core rule book that it comes with. It does not come with the army book. However, in that case, the army book is for all the good guy armies or all the bad guy armies, right? Uh, and in this, you're going to get your codex supplement, which I think is really goo. And I, I am over here. I want to advocate for more boxes with books. Hmm. Do tell. So a lot of people are anti-book. They want it just to be the app. They want to subscribe to the app and pay them $8 a month in perpetuity. And I get it. That feels better immediately than $60 for what is, let's be honest, going to be a pretty thin book, this Codex Supplement. Maybe, maybe it doesn't cost that much, right? Yeah. But the thing with boxes is I like to look at a box and say, does this have the cool thing that I'd want to have? And some other stuff that I'd probably need. And I think most of the time they do that. Like we talked about during uh, Christmas time, that World Eaters box came with Angron and some other stuff. Angron is worth the price of admission. Now imagine if you get a World Eaters box that had Angron, some ons and ends, and the Codex. Take my money. Take my money. And here's the other thing. If you are not the sort to have multiple, multiple, multiple armies, then the books make more are much more cost effective than just paying eight dollars a month in perpetuity. Yeah, like if you're a Deathwing purist, totally get it. Like the only book I need yeah. is Chaos Space Marines. It doesn't exist yet. <laughs> I'd be kind of annoyed if I had to pay eight dollars a, a month for however long until that thing came out. You see. Um, you know, and honestly, when I go to play somebody, I do not look up their rules. Like, if you're going to cheat, then I guess you're going to win. You know what I mean? Now, I, le- I learn a bit about my opponent prior. Not like, I'm not crazy, but I do do some research. Well, I mean, I want to know, like, just what kind of... I kind of want to know the theme of the army, but I usually get that off of watching battle reports and things, you know, because you turn those on while you're painting and watch the whole thing. I do not like 40K in 40 minutes. I just call them uh, the equivalent of what they would be in orc terms. Same. I, uh, You know what? If, it, if it's a bunch of tanks, then I'm like, it's a tank army. If it bounces around, I'm like, it's one of those bounce around jobs. It's like, oh, you got some space marines? I call them boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you got a bunch of infantry or whatever, if you're a swarm or whatever, I'm like... You got some Terminators? You mean Meganops? Yeah, I'm I'm just like, okay, he gonna bring a bunch of troops. Yeah, Yeah. yeah, we're real ignorant about this stuff. Oh, cultists? You mean Grotz, right? (laughs) Grotz, totally. Gretchen. CP farm? Yeah, no, they're not the same thing at all. I I just... So so, uh, when when I'm playing guard against guard like on one hand is tanks and the other hand i always think squishy boys and i guess if i was playing against somebody with the with all the the termagants f- from uh, the tyranids then i would just say you know they got a bunch of squishy boys a mob of squishy boys and you know what's crazy about this, this is coming out with the crusade uh books and information we need for the prion nexus which from a lore standpoint is all about the necrons so, why is it coming out with the Dark Angels unless they're fighting them? But I thought that's what AdMech were doing. And you know who gets Codex next? Who? Necrons have got it. Orcs, baby. Orcs get it next? Yeah. Wow. Right after Dark Angels, we go on hot in the springtime with the Orcs. Because they're fun guys. They are the <laughs> funnest of guys. <laughs> Silent clap. <laughs> the, there, there won't be mushroom for them though. By that point, <laughs> yuck, yuck, yuck. Waka, waka. Like and subscribe. Waka. Yeah, th- this is why. This is why you come here to to hear these stinkers. I want a codex so bad. It seems so fun to have a bunch of options. 
I played a different homie Necron Austin the other day, and uh, I talked about it on here. But you, you know, should be getting it right after me, though. He had put to, he had put together a list of the of the uh, Grey Knight version of the Necrons, and when he was having so much fun, and the next thing I knew, he popped up, and he had a he he was he was buying a couple of characters so that he could do the uh, oh the one the one that does all the battle shock. I think was the one he wanted to try. Yeah, and it's like. You know what? I hereby declare. So possibly next week we're gonna have a show meeting for you guys. Possibly next week. Las Vegas open is tomorrow. Las Vegas open review. We may have a guest. I'm gonna work on that this week to book boy, that. Boy, oh boy! Because we don't know nothing about this uh, high end list analyses. And reveals coming this weekend. Yeah, and there'll be reveals. So that's probably what we'll talk about next week. However, week after, I feel like we need to talk about like. How you put together your first army type stuff. Because I know we must have a lot of people new to the hobby or interested in the hobby, interested in the lore, but haven't taken the leap because they think it's expensive or it's confusing or it's whatever. But Shane, but Casey, what about Horus? What about Horus? He's our next Primarch, isn't he? Well, yeah, but he can wait. That stuff's not going anywhere. I don't know. The uh, so somebody who's loyal to the Black Legion not being an advocate for Horus? Could he be Casey? A traitor? I'm gonna let Is he I'm, a loyalist hiding in traitor armor, ladies Ca- and gentlemen? Casey, I'm gonna I'm gonna let the people behind the curtain, okay? <laughs> you and I are a flock of oxen tied beneath the yoke of content creation. We love that sweet, succulent meta content. Well, I'm just saying, anytime there's content, because I don't know, oh, if, yeah. I don't know if you noticed, but over Christmas time, it there's got, a lot. Ah, you thought a lot? I thought quite the opposite. We did three lore pods in a row. I don't think it was in a row. I mean, there was a paint there one in there, in but no, no, the people don't like those. I think it was just the Blood Angels, really. I don't know. We'll see. We talked about Sanguinius for three weeks. We did, but that was upon your request, as I recall, sir. I know, I know. As I recall. I'm just saying, I'm trying to eat from the trough of this LVO. He's trying to at me, guys, and so this, and don't let him gaslight. Just roll with it. But we do, yeah, like you were saying, we, we got to follow the content. There's a lot of stuff coming out soon, and we got to talk about it. There's a lot of stuff going on, too. LVO's a big deal. Exactly. You you cannot buy... If we're not talking about LVO next week, I don't know what we're talking about. Um, you cannot buy terrain from Frontline Gaming right now. Why? They are out. Ooh. They're wow. out. And and uh, there's speculation in the game store. They're like, they might have taken it all to Las Vegas. <laughs> that like, would be... Hilarious. Well, it's it's their tournament, isn't it? I believe. I yes, believe, it is. It is. Yeah, Frontline Gaming put that on, and so every single table times however many ridiculous amounts of tables they've got has got to have some of that, some of that MDF terrain of theirs. Yeah. Which I'm, I'm everybody eager to loves. see the win rates, the rankings. I bet orcs do better than we think. I'm I'm willing to bet. I think that there's no telling, no telling, ain't no telling. I bet Space Marines do pretty bad. I want to reach out to the people. I want to see. I want to see if we have any reach. I want to see if we have any power. So, I, reason I made that observation. That Dark you, Pact. Easy. The, the, <laughs> the reason I made that observation about the Frontline Gaming website and their lack of terrain is because I was on there ordering my gaming mat for the table that I'm building tomorrow. Ah. It's all kicking off, right? Uh, we picked out, they, they had a new design, it looks amazing, I think it was called uh, Irradiated Earth or something like that, but it's got some green and, uh, you know, some rocks. It looks cool, So and it's brand new, so nobody's got it, it's new hotness, and uh, I got it in regular 40k size so that we won't have to mark off areas of the board that we're not using, which would be lovely. Uh, and it'll look good with my Shatterpoint stuff. It's going to look good for my Space Marines. And then I'm going to need terrain. And I don't like all this MDF terrain with this little footprint, and it's designed for match play. 
and all there are no windows on the bottom and i understand it's balanced it's what you guys like you bunch of nerds <coughs> i want the gothic cathedrals i want that old stuff so here's what i'm doing if you have some some of the old games workshop terrain and it's not just in a thousand pieces it doesn't need to be painted in fact i'd probably prefer it not be but if it's in a condition that you could blow the dust off and stick it in a box, I want it slash would buy it from you because I'd like a whole table of that stuff. DM us directly. Yes. Get at me because I'm going to need a table full for this uh, for these games, man. 100%. And if I need to pretend that the bottom floor is blocked, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to say, hey, bottom floor is blocked. Mm -hmm. Secret. I'm never going to do that. Because I think windows probably don't go out of style. Yeah. Um, Deathwing. Deathwing. Dope box. Dope box. Dope models. Dope models. Huge opportunity for Deathwing. Has a character. Awesome Be character. Because, because here's the other thing. Back to boxes. You know you want those new Terminators. Yeah. You know if you already got some Terminators that you want more Terminators. Yeah. Right? Uh, you're going to want the book. The book, you know, is going to be $50, 60 because that's just what they do. You're going to want the cards, because your cards aren't going to have all the odds and ends. So just right there, the box, I mean, I don't care what, is it's probably going to be $240. Maybe $200. Maybe. Because it's not that many models. Uh, yeah. It isn't that many yeah. models. It's It'll probably be 180 models. Yeah, it could be 180 200 bucks. You're going to save money. It's going to be stuff you want. Yeah. And and so what if... Uh, I just want the Watchers in the Dark. What's the character's name? Belial. Belial. I keep wanting to say it's any of the others besides Belial. Okay, so Belial's rules aren't amazing. Yeah. You know what? He's Paint him up. Cool. He looks amazing. Put him on your shelf. You can have the whole array of named uh, Dark Angels characters. Yeah, and I'm only speaking of uh, the slim bit of statistics that they gave us. So there could be more things that I'm not seeing. So, Also, like, follow, and subscribe for the giveaway. Yes, so... On the 31st of January, 2024. We're, we're not actually going to put the names in a hat. It'd be too many names, which is good. But we are not going to ask you to do any odds and ends because the bots and stuff will come out and try to get your social security number, and we don't want that. Yeah. So what we you will can, never ask you for your personal information. Right, and what you should do is if you follow us in all the places we're available, then that's going to give you more opportunities to win as your name will be available on whatever platform and whatnot we decide to scroll and randomly select from. We'll pull your name out. If your name is Big Doodoo Poopy Pants, then that will probably help us choose you. Because <laughs> we're... Children. We're wild and crazy guys. Because here at 40K Fanatics, we like to play with toys. And we'll continue to do so, and we hope that you will as well. And we will talk to you next week. See you out there, guys.